The Singapore Grand Prix. It was a missed opportunity for Red Bull Racing to secure the Constructors' Championship title. This might have sounded even more astounding when spoken aloud, but the team's dominance this season had put them in a favourable position. They needed a strong performance from Max Verstappen on a track where he had historically faced challenges, and we saw that once again. Although there were modifications to the circuit this year, they may not significantly benefit the drivers. Mercedes was initially optimistic about their prospects, but the alterations might have impacted their chances of securing a victory. After the weekend's race at the Marina Bay circuit, only seven races remained in the season, and Red Bull Racing could potentially clinch the Constructors' Championship title in Japan. Their dominance is evident, with Max Verstappen leading the Drivers' Championship by a significant margin, and Sergio Perez performing consistently well. Red Bull Racing is currently 597 points in the Constructors' Championship, a commanding lead of 308 points over second-placed Mercedes, with Ferrari not behind with 24 points to tie. While Max Verstappen continued to assert his dominance, winning his third Drivers' Championship was not possible in Singapore, but he could mathematically achieve it in Japan. To secure the title, Verstappen would have needed to leave the Japanese Grand Prix with a lead of 180 points or more, provided Perez didn't have two underwhelming weekends. The most likely scenario for Verstappen to claim his third World Championship title would be at the Qatar Grand Prix, one race earlier than he did in 2022. However, the Singapore Grand Prix had historically proven challenging for Verstappen, as he had never won at that circuit. His previous finishes at the track had included 8th, 7th, 6th, 3rd and 2nd, along with an unfortunate did not finish or DNF in 2017 due to an incident involving Ferrari drivers Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. Despite Verstappen's lack of victories in Singapore, some teams may have perceived this as an opportunity to challenge Red Bull Racing's supremacy. Mercedes had expressed optimism about their prospects that weekend, believing that the track layout might have favoured their car. This optimism had stemmed from the fact that Marina Bay Circuit had demanded maximum downforce, and Mercedes had performed well on high downforce tracks such as Barcelona and Budapest. The contrast between their performance in Monza, where they had finished 5th and 6th, and their potential in Singapore had been stark. The circuit's unique characteristics, which had prioritised high downforce and mechanical grip, might have worked in Mercedes' favour, according to Andrew Shovlin, Mercedes' trackside engineering director. Additionally, McLaren and Aston Martin, Mercedes' customer teams, had also favoured high downforce tracks and had been expected to perform well in Singapore. To further complicate matters, there had been changes to the Marina Bay circuit for the 2023 race. The sequence of four nearly 90-degree corners towards the end of the lap, which had passed under a grandstand, had been removed. In its place, a new longer straight section had led from a gentle left-hander at turn 15 to a tight right-hander at turn 16, previously turn 20. These changes had reduced the demand on brakes and had been expected to help drivers preserve their tyres over a full lap. While this alteration might have benefited most teams, it could have been particularly advantageous for Red Bull Racing, as it would have allowed them to leverage their aerodynamic efficiency on the long straight. This change could have also facilitated overtaking, which had been challenging on the old layout. The drivers would still have faced demanding conditions in Singapore, with temperatures exceeding 30 degrees Celsius throughout the weekend. However, the shorter lap time resulting from the track changes would have meant that they spent just over eight minutes less on the circuit than usual, providing some relief. Moreover, the reduced number of corners translated to less lateral cornering g-force, which is physically taxing on the drivers' bodies. Despite these improvements, they could still have expected to lose a substantial amount of weight due to sweating, albeit slightly less than in previous years. In conclusion, the Singapore Grand Prix promised and delivered excitement with the track changes promoting more overtaking opportunities. While Red Bull Racing had remained the front-runner, Mercedes was hopeful that the high downforce nature of the circuit would work to their advantage. The altered track layout had implications for the teams and drivers, with the potential for improved tyre preservation and opportunities for efficient aerodynamics.
As we look forward to the next weekend action, the Formula One world eagerly awaited an unfolding drama on the streets of Singapore, and drama we got when at the very last lap George Russell went straight into the wall in one of the last corners, letting slip a podium which the young driver had fought tooth and nail to get, disappointing for the team and himself, but at least a bittersweet podium finish for Lewis Hamilton, whom we have missed in the top steps. Thanks for tuning in and remember always box box here at F1 Box for the best Formula One content. Subscribe, like and comment below.